Greetings and salutations. Welcome to the hidden lore of Elden Ring. Lore of characters that nobody cares about, but they should. Because every enemy and creature in Elden Ring is a living being with feelings. Let me tell you about some of the enemies of Michaela's Hallig Tree, and in particular the Hallig Tree soldier. Loyal soldiers sworn to the Hallig Tree, sworn to protect its honor from you, the tarnished. Let me introduce you to Crispin, Hallig Tree soldier. This soldier's sole mission is to watch the seas, because they really believed, the Hallig Tree soldiers, that you, the tarnished, we're gonna come in from the sea. They didn't think anybody could get in through the ever jail candle puzzle. So the only other way to come in was by boat. And they're waiting for your boat. And that is the entire mission here of our friend Crispin. And Crispin's expecting you any minute. And he gets a shock every time he's backstabbed. So that's the fate of this enemy in everybody's playthrough. Next time you kill Crispin, remember that. Say a prayer for Crispin. Here's a quick shout out to Eoa.com, our key sponsor. If you don't fancy grinding for items, runes, and quest lines for armor, then you can get it from these guys real quick with key strength. But by using the code in the description, you can get 3% off. Uh. Meet Drogo, Lothar, and Hawk, patrolling guardsmen. Lothar, the leader. He knew the Tarnish wouldn't be coming in from sea. He was smart enough to know that there's no boat mechanics in Elden Ring. But the other soldiers weren't having it, and he commanded Drogo and Hawk to watch his back at all times. But you can see from their faces they're pretty depressed, going over this, this piece of trail over and over for eternity. You'd be depressed too. Meet Torsten and Phil. When you enter the Hallig Tree, they're taking a break. Mourning the fate of, of Neville, a fellow tarnished who didn't make it. But they admired Neville for what he tried to do. Meet Otto and Edmund, two lesser clean rock knights. See here, Otto's sword very heavy. After holding it for that long, his shoulder is completely given out. The same thing for Edmund. All that's holding them up is that spear and that scythe. Next time you get angry at the two zombie men wielding the crossbows, think about it from their perspective. Look at the men's faces. The fear in Dudley and Royce. They don't know when you're gonna turn up. Terrified to fall asleep at the key moment. If they fail, it's a harsh punishment. Look at the fear. Next time you get mad at them, remember they're more afraid of you than you are of them. Two of the most powerful Halleck Tree Knights, Cuthbert and Beverly. Cuthbert has a bet with Beverly that you won't even ever turn up here. It's optional. Why would he bother? They also have a bet whether you'll come from sea or you will solve that puzzle. I won't tell you which one betted on what. Only that Cuthbert's gonna owe a lot of money. At the lowest level of the castle, multiple revenants will surprise you. And believe it or not, they have feelings too. They don't have names, they're just mutations. Multi-legged creatures that travel between key dimensions. They scream a lot because they're in pain. Whoever grafted the limbs onto their body didn't do a very good job. That's why they're so angry. You look like the creator. The brace of the Hallig Tree took many slaves many years to build, and it was an enormous insurance job. It was hard to find the money to do it. Top architect zombies of the time told them that it won't hold, that the tree could get bigger, branches would penetrate through and it would come crumbling down, and they were right, but nobody listened. But it's still a magnificent piece of architecture, as you can see at a glance. It's one of the seven wonders of Elden Ring. Many zombies died paying this price, don't take it for granted. Remember them. They died for your gameplay. Meet the three Crystallians guarding the Rotten Crystal Sword chest. They were assigned this great task to protect it with their lives. Their names are Hildred, Milton, and Swithin. Milton didn't understand this as a mission. Why not just take the chest and hide it somewhere where the Tarnished can't find it? Why leave it out in the open? Why doesn't one of them watch the other one's back? Why are they all looking at the chest? But no one listened to him. They thought their power was enough to protect the sword, but most players proved them wrong. It's almost like they wanted to put treasure in the tarnished path to help them get through the game. Just throw the chest in the sea. Don't know what they're doing, but they're doing their best. So that's it, some of the faceless, nameless heroes that guard the Halling Tree. 
Don't take them for granted ever again when you play it and remember them. What right do you have to take their lives? Just because you want to become Elden Lord. Is the flame of ambition enough? I might be back for more hidden lore, but farewell for now. When he gets close, what we will do. The decision is not yours to make. What we will do. You think you're dumb. I didn't do nothing. You think you're tough. I saw 